Mean. I don't think they're socks. I think they're more shoe-like. Well, you chose one of them and two and the other. I think it's a shoe for like the poor people would wear it as a shoe, but then rich people would wear it more as a sock. A sock is wonderful. Sock dates to between sort of four and six hundred uh, AD. Um, this is when Egypt is part of the Roman Empire. I think the Egyptians would have like a bit of smelly feet because of wearing the same sock every single day. <laughs> <laughs> There are a number across the world of these type of socks with the sort of two areas for your toes so that you can still wear sandals. You can get your sandal on still with your socks. So you've got warm feet in your sandals. How oh, well. Socks and sandals. Socks and sandals. <laughs> Put them together and, you, and they're not great. <laughs> Well, it could be if you were like... Don't oh, you even say socks and sandals are good. <laughs> well, they can be. No! I'm afraid I wear socks and sandals. <laughs> oh, my God! It looks like he was a pharaoh. He's not a pharaoh, but yeah, he's he's fairly wealthy. Um, Why he's got such a fashionable coffin? It's a, a coffin of a man called Knumhotep, and he's a steward, which is uh, an overseer of the house, sort of a middle-ranking official. And his coffin is really the pinnacle of fashion at the time. What do you think the hieroglyphics mean? Like, well, uh, my hieroglyphics have gone rough since I learned them. <laughs> That's excellent. But it, it could be his name. It has a prayer that goes down the centre of, of the body, which tells you who he is, uh, who his uh, one of his parents are, and also gives an offering formula, which is quite a standard thing to give him beer, bread, uh, ox, and fowl in the afterlife, so he's having a nice bit of food as well. Can you read them? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's my main thing. <laughs> Each line means something different, apart from, like, yeah. the ones that are the same. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh, oh. It's the gods. Look at all of these statues. <laughs> The Egyptian pantheon of gods is massive, um, mainly because there's loads of variety, there's loads of ways you can mix things up. So rather than just having one or two or ten gods, you can have those ten, but you can also combine them together to make new ones. You can have different local variations. It means that every town or city has their own particular favourites, their own local gods. Look at his face. That looks like a hippo guy. <laughs> 